yes, I apologize for um, earlier. I, I was actually no trying to put the put the kids to bed, and <laughs> I didn't want them to <laughs> no bother problem. me while I was going to make the comment, and you recorded the whole thing. So, <laughs> no um, problem. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the whole thing from the beginning, but I, I kind of came in um, when, when uh, Mr. Fuller was talking about the whole um, gay, you know, feminine men in history. And uh, my name is The Gay Mentor. That's that's my show name on here. And um, I was just curious, uh, his perspective of uh, minority gay females or lesbians or, I mean, do, does he feel like... Uh, you know, since they're females, you know, it's kind of the opposite that maybe um, Caucasian men or men in general might, heterosexual men might feel intimidated or, you know, is there an issue or is it, um, you know, do they get away with a little bit more? Do we get a, away with a little bit more um, because we are females and maybe we, you know, less people are intimidated by us? I was just, you know, curious about um, your perspective on that. And then I also had another comment, but I didn't know if you wanted me to kind of question. I don't know if you want me to wait till you answer that one. <laughs> Could I ask if you're a white person or a non-white person? I am um, half black, half Puerto Rican. My mom, she's, uh, you know, was a black, black panther when she was younger, you know, natural Afro and just real down-to-earth person. And uh, my dad, you know, born in Puerto Rico, that type of thing. And non white. Right, non white. But white, my, my according to the according to the white supremacists, you would be non white. Right, absolutely. You'd be in the non white category. Yes. But that's what they go I, I, by. but once you answer this question I'm gonna I had a I, I was gonna tell you a, a little brief experience and I was I, I wanted your comment on that. All right. You have a, a brief experience of what kind? Well, did you want to oh, answer? Oh, oh. Yeah, it's something totally different. It has to do with kind of like race relations. So I don't know if you want to address the. Oh, okay. Um, well, no, I'll deal with the first. I'll deal with it like, I will deal with it in the order that you want me to do it. So your first question was. Hello. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. I, oh yeah, the, please. The, what please, what, what was our first question? Was was the question? Do you think, Mr. Fuller? Do you think that uh, non-white females or so-called lesbian females? Do you think they might uh, get more privileges or get away with more doing more than a non-white male? Since uh, the white supremacists might not consider a non-white female or a lesbian non-white female, they might not consider them uh, to be as big a threat than a non-white male. Was that the question? Absolutely, absolutely. In some instances, see, it depends on what the white supremacists want to do. See, that's the part that, that has to be yet to be studied when this whole thing plays out. They have an agenda. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they wouldn't be proposed, uh, They wouldn't be uh, spreading it all over Africa and whatnot. No, I'm, I'm sorry. What did I you mean, the mean white supremacists are all over, Hello. Go ahead. Uh, okay, what were you talking about all over Africa? I was trying to get a perspective, like, how would you perceive my life? Would you feel like, you know, I was, uh, you know, uh, I, I have more privilege? Like you were talking about some of the gay black men had more privilege in history than some of the other Caucasian men because they, they were less intimidating to uh, uh, the white supremacists. And I was asking, you know, as a female, you know, not a male, lesbian, minority, do you feel like possibly we might be the very, very bottom of the tier as far as subject to, uh, subjected to all sorts of prejudice from all sorts of directions, from racism to, you know, sexism to being gay and all that type of stuff, or do you feel like we're not as, intimid uh, as intimidating as maybe some other groups? Well, see, that's what I mean by evidence. See, we don't, you, you won't know that, really, nor will I until you actually experience pressure from whatever source, okay? Then you will know, because that pressure will will have come about, because the white supremacists have determined that that's where it's going to come. See, they will make that decision if you are in the non-white category, all right? And it has been my observation that the white supremacists consider anyone who say that they are Anybody in their family is black, you know, that came before them. 
and uh, because Puerto Rican is not a color. See, so well, what the I, white I mean, supremacists I don't, do? I don't really. I don't, to be honest with you, I'll just get into my next uh, my next point, so you probably get a better idea where I'm coming from. I okay. was in the military, and. I was stationed on a small ship that had a wide variety of people, you know, people who weren't even American citizens on this boat and um, Mm -hmm. on a ship. And I would say ratio-wise, because, of course, there were far more Caucasians in there than, you know, minorities or blacks or whatever, Asians. I would have to say, in all honesty, that a lot of the minorities, ratio-wise, gave me more problems than a lot of the Caucasian people. Now, I'm not saying that a lot of those Caucasian people who didn't give me problems were not racist. You know, I can't label certain people. But what I'm saying is, uh, wouldn't it be just wiser in life just to judge people as individuals, see how they treat you, and then you decide, based off of their actions, what type of person is this person is because you never know i mean there might be white people i know there are i'm sure white racism will probably exist as long as i'm alive but i believe there are white people who generally want to help other non-white people i'm not saying depend on them i'm just saying be aware of you know whatever your environment is and the type of people you're dealing with yes that's exactly what i'm talking about what you are describing right now like the ship that you were on and all like that that's exactly the way that the white supremacists want it because what you were describing is confusion I, I, hey i'm, I'm not going to disagree with that huh i'm not going to disagree with now? that you said you do disagree with that I will not disagree with that. Oh, okay. Well, now, what you were looking at on that ship, because a ship is an excellent place. See, they experiment on ships. Oh, listen, you know, I, I'm not going to disagree with that either. <laughs> you should listen to one of my shows. Yes, I'm see, I mean, a ship, is a, a, ship, <laughs> a ship is a laboratory for experience. The slave ships themselves were laboratories of experimentation. So by the time they got to land, they had already worked out how a lot of things are going to work because they had a captive audience. They had a ca- captive clientele. It's something about being isolated on the water. Okay, but, uh, uh, okay, and then I'll get to a general. I mean, this is um, your ideas are very interesting. And honestly, when you were talking about the whole gay men and, and, and certain positions, I didn't live on at that time, but that sounds very interesting. Um, but uh, ultimately. Uh, despite all the the horrific experiences I had while in the military, uh, right now it, 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 I, I am benefiting from that experience, and I don't feel like I'm experiencing racism through that system. But I feel like it's because I spent a lot of time doing a lot of research, and I don't know if it's true that I'm doing ten times more than than a white person next to me, but I know I spent a lot of time looking out for me. You know what I mean? And there's, and there's, sure. and then and then I also look out for other people, but not like as a black or white thing. It's like as a veteran, as as a gay person, as a as a black person, as you know, as a as an individual. You know what I mean? Like anybody who's with it. You know, I'm not I'm not out here to uh, support hate. You know, when I joined the military, I didn't join the military because I wanted to bomb other countries. I mean, I was one of those uh, pers- people that were looking for benefits at a young age, and and I got it. You know, you know, I got it. And, sure. And, and so, you know what I mean? Sure. But I, and, and listen, I did experience racism and sexism and, and more than that there, okay? And I'm not denying that. And I'm not saying that. And, and I do, like you said, like experiment. Yes, I felt that way. I felt like the ship was like a, a small world experiment. You know what I mean? Like just everybody put in that little, you know, little little boat of uh, experimenting on society. But, now, now um, hold it right there. Hold it right there. If you could perceive that at a subliminal level, at 18 through 22, yes. That's what I'm saying. The white supremacists didn't per, didn't discover this. The white supremacists set it up because that's what they were doing. They are experimenting but game, to but see what people game. will. They they have done this as far back as the beginning of racism. But do you they know about- what kind of setups they can have where they can steer people into thinking 
whichever way they want people to think. They are masters at this. These are not things that happen by accident. That's what I'm saying. They know mm-hmm. that under certain conditions, a ghetto, for instance, or a shanty town, or a ship, that you can do certain things, and then you can watch people in all types of environment, and you can actually steer them in such a listen, way listen, they don't even you, know they're being steered. No, no, that's very interesting too. But and I do believe that to a certain extent. Yet I don't really think they're it was master psychology. And I don't, I don't really nobody think it that was, pops them at it. Well, no, I mean, honestly, through my observation, I didn't think it was necessarily so much. So I believe there was systematic racism and all that type of stuff like you're talking about. Yes, we agree on that. But also, to a certain level, um, everyone had to take responsibility for their actions. You know, like I knew if I stayed in there, I was going to have to be a different person than I wanted to be, okay, or it was going to be very difficult for me. Some people can be cool, but it's very difficult for them, but they feel like that's their only option, perhaps. But if everyone takes because no matter what they did to me, I took responsibility for my action. I did not let them manipulate me. And, yes, I had to deal with, you know, instead of being the, you know, I mean, I was big time at one point. Towards the end, when they realized I was really getting out, I was very serious about what I felt about the military. Because a lot of people in the Navy, they're like, fuck this, fuck that. And that's all of them. But they stay in. And that's not just black people. I mean, a lot of black people get out. You know, that's all types of people. So if there's a racism well, or a systematic question. system going on, you know, I I, they're all experiencing, experiencing it to a certain extent. Yes, but I have this question. Yes. At what point in your existence on the planet did you take what you started saying, responsibility, and that you no longer were being manipulated because... From honestly, honestly, to be honest with you, from day see, one, see, from see, day see, one, but they thought, I think they thought I was a teenager and, you know, they just had to, you know, you know, praise me and give me everything that someone would want and, you know, I mean, not saying I didn't earn these things, you know, I took these tests and, you know, I, I showed up one time and I did what I was supposed to do uh, responsible, uh, responsibly, but, um, you know, I mean, I was, I was, you know, all these awards, and then it's like, oh, you really are getting out. You really are. You really did just use this GI Bill and got, you know, getting the fuck out. You know, and yeah, well, not I looking back. That, but, but, but here's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Under the system of racism. Mhm. Because see, it's a world system. But, but do you understand what I'm telling system. you too? The black people were the same way. I mean, I listen. I'm. I was well, in. I understand they, they kinda, this. I, okay. I want you to listen to me for a minute. I understand all of that. And but, that's but a part of who, the system. Are, who are you trying to blame? Are you trying to blame the white people wait, wait for manipulating the black no, no, people no, to be no, racist no, against no, me? You, I'm, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what the perspective of the codification. The white supremacists, like the captain of a ship. Now, you said that you were on a ship. That's is, is one thing that I've always been taught about a ship whether it's the Titanic or the Forrestal, the captain is to blame for everything that happens on that ship that doesn't suppose to happen. Now, haven't you been taught that? In the Navy, I think you would definitely be taught that. Well, I didn't need to be taught that. I observed three different captains, and I okay, saw wait how a minute. the system I mean, worked you know, under di- right, different Right. I mean, you know, in in the I old days, they used... I can observe that myself. I don't need oh, someone to okay, tell Okay, well, me. I'm just saying this is... this. Okay, now... Here's what. Just bear with me for a minute. The entire planet is a ship. And the people who believe in the practice of white supremacy are running the entire ship. Now, that's the premise. Now, that's either true or false. The people who, the white people on this planet, not all, but just the white people who believe in white supremacy, they run the planet, period, of all of the business of the people who are classified as non-white. And those people conduct themselves the way that the people who run the planet wanted them conducted. If I board a ship and all the sailors are drunk, I don't bother with the sailors. Anybody who has ever inspected a ship will tell you this. 
They don't run up and down the deck trying to collar every sailor on that forest stall, on that aircraft carrier, and barking at them. No. When they're inspecting that vessel and they find the sailors drunk on that vessel, they go straight to the captain's cabin. Now, the captain of the ship that we call the planet is run by people who believe in and who practice white supremacy. That's the concept. So if you're going to blame someone for anybody, because, see, I'm not blaming yes, the anyone. Pe- the That's people, what I don't understand. The people, the, w- 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 the people on the planet are all messed up. No, okay, no, wait a minute. Let me finish. This is my whole thing. This is my thing. Okay. Uh, Mr. All Fuller. Right. Mr. Fuller, you, just you yes, as an ma'am. individual, you, are you happy in your life? Absolutely not. Okay, and see, that's the difference. That's the difference, sir. I am, as some people in this chat room describe me, and and I'm I'm sure these people are black. I know they are, um, and very, you know, not politically correct terms describing my ethnicity, which is unfortunate. And this just proves my point right here. But and they think I'm lost, but they're proving my point right here in the chat room. But that's fine. I don't I don't really I don't care what you want to call it. Okay. Oh, you're not, um, you're not supposed no, no, to if you don't have no, a problem. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, let me just finish my point. My point is okay. is that despite this racism that exists in society, I'm saying I am happy in my life. And I don't okay. just, I, 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 I socialize with anyone. I don't care what race you are because I know there are good white people. I know there are good black people. I know they're good. I know there are bad people of all different races. And I've mm-hmm. always been like that. Even it, but and it was say, way before the military. But you say that. Well, wait a minute. You say something else, though. You say that you're a female and that you're gay, correct? Yes, I am. Now, that should be another code. shot against me, right? I should be even. I should be angry. No, 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 right? no. no. Like, oh my God, I can't have these benefits. And I'm not no, that no, way. No, I'm no, just, Accord- I, no. According to the code, that means. That the white supremacists have done their job. All right. Well, then, well, hey, too. their job works for me. Um, well, thank you, white supremacists. Yes, that, that's a very <laughs> point. And you <laughs> say that you're. Wait, wait a minute. Hold it. And you say that you're happy. I am, and that's the truth. I'm Absolutely. Happy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that fits the the old fashioned description of gay. Now. <laughs> there you go. There you. Hey, check out the check out my homepage. Yeah, you you're gay right and there. you're happy. You Wait a minute. Right, you now, right now, 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 let's look at it. Let's look at it. That's the very point. The the first part of the discussion this evening was just about the effect that the white supremacists want to have on what they consider to be non-white people, and that was my premise in the beginning. Okay, now, you know I missed the beginning. I, it, I it's nothing better. It's nothing better than a happy person that the white supremacists have manipulated into being happy. Why does it have to be okay. white supremacists? Why can't it just be fighting for what you believe because, in? Why does, it have to be so, they, why does it have to always be race when I'm saying individuals? Or in other I mean, words, you... I mean, is Clarence Thomas, am, am I supposed to okay. like relate to him or something? Wait a minute, say that again. Am I supposed to be I able to relate to Clarence Thomas? I want to answer your question as you ask You want me to repeat myself? A- ask the question so that I'll, I'll know what the question is. Am I supposed to be able to relate to Clarence Thomas? Relate to him how? You're supposed to be able to relate. Well, I mean, if you're you're listening to what I'm saying in a row, I'm I'm saying, am I supposed to uh, automatically assume that I am to get along or be able to relate to every black person or assume that every black person is for my best interest? Or should I assume that a black person over a white person is in my best interest just because that person is black? That's what I mean by asking one question at a time and answering that question. Okay. In answer to... The first question, no, under this system, the way it's set up, you're not supposed to be able to relate to anybody in a constructive fashion except the white supremacists when they want you to do it, okay? So you've got to think about what is their objective because whether anyone realizes it or not, which just shows how good they are, they want to have absolute control without the person knowing that they are being controlled. That's the perfect situation. 
So that the person thinks that, oh, well, what I'm doing well, what, is what just the things that I control? want to do. do oh, oh, let me let me say this. You are being controlled. Let me say let me say this. <laughs> let me say this about the way the white supremacists operate, because many people think this. The Indians thought that. I'm in control. No, they're sitting I'm up here as drunk you, as they can you be. you think you're in control because you're making it seem like you have more control because you're able to think past the white supremacist game plan? And what I'm saying is, what makes you think you have more control or more freedom than I do? Perhaps, and I don't know for a fact, but perhaps I might have more freedoms than you do. See, but that's another thing that's that the white supremacists do. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let's and hold it just a reality, second. Not the reality, somewhere on Red Planet, whatever these people well, are from well, in this chat room. Well, let me but answer the planet, questions as we go along. I'm not saying that you don't have anything. I'm saying what counter-racist logic says, because I'm dealing with racism. Now, I'm also saying something else, which you have said, to me, and I'll just repeat it, you said you really got no problem with, with you know, because you have figured out a way to be happy. I did not say I the, have more problems. I said that perhaps what my did you situation say? You said you were happy. is a little bit more. I, I did say I'm happy, and you said you were unhappy. I said perhaps my situation, not knowing you personally, but knowing my situation, perhaps I have more freedoms. And I don't want to get into the details because I will assume that you understand what I mean by freedoms or freedom, uh, you know, benefits or whatever you want to talk about, than you. No problem. But see, here's what. That's exactly what I mean by the system of white supremacy. And, I, and one thing but I want I'm to definitely right. make clear. Wait a minute. Right. Hold it, hold it. Hold and it, hold it. I'm trying to make something. My situation is better than a lot of I white I know, people. but you're trying to. You, I, I want, so I want, how, is the white people, see, how are the white people controlling the Wait a minute. But see, see we there. think. See, there's there's an anxiety here, and see, and this is exactly what is supposed to be avoided. We are trying to even talk over each other. This is exactly what happens under the system of white supremacy, and neither one of us are white supremacists. That's number one. Absolutely. See, because I know you are not a white supremacist if Absolutely. you're considered if you're considered to be non-white. Absolutely. All right, because you can't be. That's you got to be trying white. That's why I'm to you as a non-white person. That's telling you. I know you, that, but here's what. Is but but see, I. And you might have hold on a second, ma'am. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, ma'am. Hold on. Thank you. I I have to explain something very important as to what's going on right here. The very fact that we have this high-pitched conversation means that the system is working exactly the way they want it because. See, now, I talk to white people. It's a white lady that calls me every day or every other day and has been doing it for years. We don't get into this. And you know why? Well, so good. I'm glad white. you're socializing with white people. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a hold it. You see, you're, you're doing it not, again. She's not controlling you see, like see, Hold on a second, ma'am. Uh, ma'am see, hold on see on the second. anxiety is there. The anxiety is there. You can see it. You can't even wait for me to explain something no, because the saying, anxiety is saying there. I keep certain things that really don't connect. I don't get your point. But you I've are saying it enough. as if you... And I'm asking you questions because at one point your, your, your concepts seem maybe a little unique, but maybe I haven't been paying attention to all the other shows that these people from the chat room are because maybe this... You know, honestly, I, I think that... Um, this show is very oh. interesting. I do, you know, I think I enjoy the host. But I got a question. I, I when like you the finish. way it goes. But in all honesty, I understand your point. I've heard, you don't know my background, so I've heard everything you have to say before, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But I do wish you the best and much love to the people in the chat room who don't understand what I'm talking about. Much love. Thank you. Um, I, I find that very interesting. I want you to finish your uh, point that you wanted to make uh, with the caller, but I also uh, want to reiterate. Yes, so what, happened, what, what has been happening with, between me and the caller has mm-hmm. been exactly what's not supposed to happen. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and, but every time it heads this way. See, I was on a program the other night. Same thing. 
see, because the white supremacist has it set up so that this is a guarantee. See, the very fact, the very fact that she was feels even interested enough to have these conversations, all right, and then have this kind of anxiety while she's having it, that is exactly what the white supremacists want. And this is why I say the code says, hey, if you're going to have an argument, you don't have arguments about race with no other black person ever mm-hmm. or no other non-white person. It's never supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. All arguments are supposed to be between white and non-white. 